OK, so in this demo we have a card reader connected to a Raspberry Pi, which is an ARM-based device running Linux. It's a reasonably low-end device, you can buy these off the shelf for about $35. It's got an ARM CPU running at about 900 MHz, 1 gig of RAM. It's not a very powerful machine, but it's actually way more than we need for this scenario. You'll see the card reader is connected directly to the Raspberry Pi via the serial port, and the Raspberry Pi is connected to the network. There's no other connections here apart from the power supplies. On the laptop on the right, we have a little utility, which is an example of an application connected to XFS for IoT. In this case, it's running on a laptop, but this could be something running in a data center, it could be in the cloud uh, or a web service. We've connected to the device and we've discovered the services that are available. There's a card reader being published from here and we can see all of this across the network. You can see the messages being sent here in the bottom panels. On the left, we have the command JSON sent to the device. In the middle, we have the response. And on the right, we have intermediate events sent during the command. You'll see they're all in JSON as defined by the XFS for IoT standard. And we can do all the normal operations. You can send a command to accept a card and that enables the device to accept a card. You can see the intermediate events and the completion. And we can eject the card again. Again, you can see the command and response and events when the card is taken. So that's the Cal XFS for IoT SP Dev framework running under Linux on an ARM device and connected across the network to a sample application showing how you could do this in a cloud-based environment.